हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर आत्माराम बंसल एसोसिएट डायरेक्टर एट मैदानता सो टुडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट एपिलेप्सी सो एपिलेप्सी इज ए ब्रेन प्रॉब्लम वेयर द सर्किट्स इन द ब्रेन हैव एबनॉर्मल स्पार्किंग एंड दैट कॉज सीजर्स व्हिच कैन हैपन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सम जर्किंग मोमेंट्स सम कन्फ्यूजनल स्टेट फॉर फ्यू सेकेंड्स लुकिंग एट वन पॉइंट फॉर फ्यू सेकेंड्स सडन जर्क्स और वन साइडेड जर्क्स सो usually seizure happen for about few second to 1 to 2 minutes it's very very uncommon that somebody is having jerking movement unconsciousness uh, having continuous jerks for more than 2 minutes so if somebody is getting those jerks and continuously for more than 2 to 3 minutes then that is a bit critical condition otherwise this can be like normally managed without any intervention there are certain questions in the mind like if somebody is having those jerks what should we do the first and most important point is don't hold the arms and legs tightly because if somebody is having tightening and uh, jerking then if you hold that can create create problem so either you let the patient lie down or you can turn to one side and make sure that head is not hitting on any hard thing so safety is the most important thing don't allow anything to hit the patient any hard thing any sharp thing and turn the patient to one side so that if there is any salivation that goes out don't try to give water at that time don't put any spoon any finger or anything in by mouth because you can have if you put are putting your finger the patient can bite or if you give spoon there can be tooth injury so when the jerk is over within one or two minutes the patient should become normal but you should stay with the patient until the patient is conscious you can watch for uh, breathing if the breathing is normal even if the patient is not responding that may not be a, a serious condition but if the patient it takes long, long time and patient is not responding that definitely will have to rush to the hospital epilepsy can be due to many reason one of the reason is uh, some damage in the brain which can be due to in, uh, any brain infection any head injury any kind of scar which may be related to uh, brain tumors infections or may be related to at times may be related to something like uh, childhood problem when when the child is born the oxygen may not have gone properly in the brain so to manage epilepsy it's uh, basically a medical treatment and uh, most of the patient can be managed by one or two drugs and uh, they have good response and if there is no response we do have an option of doing retail workup and even we can do surgery in selected cases so one or two points i will summarize what to do what not to do when somebody is having a seizure to do make sure the patient is safe there are no injuries in the Uh, body patient is away from sharp things and uh, any uh, hard thing make sure that you don't hold too tightly let the patient breathe properly another important point is if there are two three people you can ask one of the person to make a video because if you show the video to the doctor that may help in making a diagnosis not to do one if somebody is having epilepsy make sure that he takes medicine regularly should not miss medicine two sleep properly do not uh, uh, avoid uh, something like overnight functions or those things should be avoided make sure that you have 6 to 7 hours of sleep three when somebody is having seizure don't try to give anything by mouth make sure that you don't panic unnecessarily epilepsy is treatable on this international epilepsy day which is falling on valentine day my request to the general public is make sure that you love the person with epilepsy as same like any other person thank you